Good morning. Today I'm doing a 24 hours vlog. So I thought this is a perfect time to just film myself because I actually have a project that I can show you what I'm doing as a casting director. And as well as you might be wondering what I'll be eating today, I tell you it's not going to be fancy. But hey, let's get started and I need my coffee. Choo choo! Before I go, um, I need to use this. Recently, my friend has introduced me to this eyebrow enhancing serum that you can get it from Costco. It doesn't sell in the store, but it sells online. And what it does is just you apply it every twice a day. So I usually do it in the morning and before I sleep. What you do is you just put it on your eyebrow because you know, I have issues that I always have to put makeup on my eyebrows when I'm filming because it's, it gets eaten away by the light. So I feel like sometimes I just don't have eyebrows. And last time when I was doing the smooth enhancing with my Sony camera, my eyebrows was gone when they were smoothing my skin. So, voila, I starting to feel like the eyebrows, the hairs on my eyebrows are growing, but it could be an illusion. I don't know. I only got it for like a week now. So let's see what happens after a month. Anyway, coffee. Just waiting for my coffee to get ready and uh, you've noticed I changed my outfit because I went to the closet and get my robe because LA has gotten a little bit colder now since it's November and while I'm just waiting my coffee there's actually one more thing I usually do is to brush my cat and this is like a morning routine for us so let's do it You probably have seen this in the background. Um, while I wash my dishes, I have my iPad here so I can watch Netflix shows, uh, like Squid Game, you know. Uh, when I'm not washing my dishes, I will have my playlist play throughout. So that way I can get more views, hours. I guess this is my shameless promotion right now that please watch my All About You playlist because I put all the video there so you can just play it until your iPad break or whatever. <laughs> okay, so here's the boring part of this vlog. I hope I don't lose you because I'm pretty much going to just sit here and just type and emailing all these actors, talents, producers, whatever, agents, you name it, I'll just sit here and keep working until I finish. But if you don't know what I do, um, I'm a casting director and currently I'm working on a casting project where we're looking for voiceover actors for this commercial. Okay, so much drama that's happening with this particular project that I will 
share with you a little bit but our job is to really just bring actors into the room to help with the creative vision so you know if the directors want an asian actor for this role then we'll find an asian actor to fit in the hole um that's that's pretty much what we do we're almost like directors i mean assistant where you know we help to craft but we don't really have the final say we have a say about which actor is easy to work with or how great they are but when it comes to finalizing the actors it's all about director's vision clients and uh, whatever the producer wants us to do okay so with this voiceover project we're looking for asian talents but we have gotten a note that we want asian actors slight accent is okay but we want asian actors who speak english with a slight accent the reason why i say that it's because they want english like mine which has a slight Asian accent, but I don't notice it. But when it comes to casting, you know, we are out there reaching out to people and ask them if they can submit for their audition. If we put it like that, you are going to find a lot of talents that they are going to fake the Asian accent. But if you just want to say, oh, you want the standard American accent, maybe you won't get any accent whatsoever. So, you know, it becomes an issue for us. And at this point with this project, um, in the beginning, I asked for people with an Asian accent or fake an Asian accent. And the clients did not want a fake accent so now i went back to all the talent and asked them if they can just say it with a standard american accent and some people actually got back to me with saying uh i have an accent so i, I submitted the project with an accent just because that's how i sound and those are the people who we actually look for right but now those actors are feeling like they're discouraged because they feel like they're i'm not looking for them so you know problem like this is really hard to looking on both sides because we know the talents want people speaks with an accent but not to a point that you're faking the accent and then another side is we want talents to speak english with no accent, but with a hint of an accent, if you know why, if, you, if that makes any sense. But hear me out. I am that person that they're looking for. But the sad part about this is I don't usually submit myself just because I am a casting director on this project. So it's really hard to be a casting director while you wanted to be an actor and be famous. So I think maybe in the future, I'm just going to be a YouTube vlog. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do here, but it's not going to be interesting. So we'll just edit them out as we go. Okay. Okay, so no spawns whatsoever. Uh, but when it comes to casting, I use different casting sites for help me to get my words out. Casting Networks has been one of the main casting sites I use because I thought they're, they have more talent and more actors when it comes to commercial work. If I want to work with more actors for film, I will use Actors Access. But this tool has been really helpful. I also use other tools, but you know, this one is the easiest for me, I think. Okay, so I have finished all the emails and uh, I download all the audio files so the next part is I'm going to listen to them and to see which one I can submit and which one I might just ask for a resubmission I don't do that often so if you just have a little mistakes it's okay for me I just want to cast the net wider so the clients can make the call we don't have a director for this project since it's just voice if the clients like your voice then they'll just book you that's 
How simple is that, right? So let's get started. All right, this one's good. This one is good. As you can see, like I don't really finish the whole entire sound track because usually I'm not the one who's making the last call. So as long as you sound really well in the beginning, what what I like what you give, I just let it pass. This one's good. One tip for actors: if you're an actor watching my vlog right now, please be sure to change your file name to your name, no matter. What kind of project it is? It helps us. It really helps us to actually sort out our files. And for those of you who done that, thank you. Like I said, this is a pretty easy project for me to really do the casting since I'm not. I don't have to go on site to do an audition session, right? Because it's just voiceover. So I'll just wait for more submissions next week and see who else will submit their project to me. And we'll see from there. Let's go eat. Okay, so here's raw meats.、Um, my roommate and I were eating hot pots yesterday, and for leftover for lunch, we thought just reheating up everything so we can put it all in hot pot and eat it again. As you know, in November it's cold. It's a perfect day for hot pots for Asians. So let's get to it. It's so good sausage. I love sausage. So I am back after my lunch.、Uh, I did my dishes. So I'm just now sitting here again and checking on my emails because after I send the emails to actors or clients. Usually I would do a follow up, or they would send me back their replies. So now I'm just checking my emails. I actually got an audition. I need to send it out by today. I guess I have to get out of this rope and do an audition tape myself. And I guess I can show you how I do an audition tape myself, since this is called for self tape. And then maybe you can learn a thing or two, and I'll give you some tips about how I do it. Okay. When it comes to do an audition tape, lighting is very important because as a casting director, so we want to see you. All the clients, producers. You name it, directors. They all want to see your face, so it's quite important to make sure you have great lighting. If you have never invested in lights, get some as an actor. This will help you a lot to get cast, because not only you look good, people can tell and see that you look good. Okay, so 
keep that in mind. This role is calling for two lines only, so I don't have to worry too much. It is asking for a medium shot. You know, as an actor, you need to follow directions. As casting directors, we look at those small details that if a, an actor is following directions, that means you can follow directions. <laughs> I keep saying that because follow your directions, okay? There are only two lines. I am at a bar talking to a girl and um, just say hi and I thought you might like this. Oh. The lines are easy. It didn't say if I'm playing to the camera or to play to the side. As actors, at that moment, you need to make a choice. I am going to play off the side. So, you know, it feels like a third person perspective. A lot of time commercials have you play to the camera. So really follow the directions. Slate your name, role, location, Asian man. Okay. Easy. And when you do commercials, uh, when you do slates, they usually ask for your profiles. Profile means your side, you know, and your hands. Make sure you let people see your hands because a lot of times for commercial, there's products that will be displayed with your hands. And you, if your hand doesn't look good, they might have a hand model on set just for, to help you out with that. I think that's all you need to see for my audition. Or do you want to see the actual thing? Well, let's see it. Hi. Thought you might like this. And cut. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, when, when I actually finish my audition tape, I usually just kind of fade out or I would just come back and say thank you. Don't linger too long. So sometimes when I do that, I'll be like, because you enter to the scene and then you look at that person and you just say, you know, your lines. After that, you can improvise a little because they will help you to sell more that, oh, you actually know more than just say the lines. So you can improvise. For instance, Hey, I thought you might like this. Here, try it. It's good, right? Thank you. Oh my God, it's hot in here. Back to my usual self. Now I have to edit the audition tape. It's not gonna take a while because it's just short and sweet. But make sure you upload before the deadline because that's quite important, okay? Wow, I just finished my audition and I just edited my video. And uh, that kind of sums up of what's going on with the whole entire afternoon. I do have a World of Warcraft raid that I'm going to do tonight, so... As a casting director, my job is very flexible. Sometimes I would do this, sometimes I would do that. If I have a lot of emails, then I would just reply all these emails. I end my date at 6 p.m. sort of, but a lot of times if the email comes very late at night, I would reply it still if I need to. It depends on how important they are, right? So I think I'm just gonna call it the day until dinner. So it's dinner time. Check this out. These are pork buns, but you can check out the bottom. It's a little bit burnt. This is the equivalent of fried dumplings and uh, I'm going to fry them. My mom actually made these, so I'm so excited to eat. Other than that, for well, tonight's dinner, we're also going to eat skewers. These are like beef skewers and also lamb skewers. We're going to put in the air fryers and uh, that's going to be my dinner. My roommate is going to help me to finish all these, so let's get to it.
Amazing. Okay, so now I'm back to my desk. Like I said before, I am going to raid playing World of Warcraft. Let's do an outro now, and then maybe I can just put my gameplay at the end if you want to check out my progress as a druid, healing a whole entire 25 people raid. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for being here with me for this casting director's vlog to see what I have been doing like in a day. I am just a regular guy doing regular things. Uh, sometimes people do tend to think casting director is like this amazing uh, position. But at the end of the day, we're just people. We don't do anything that special. Uh, and other than that, maybe next time I'll share with you things I don't really like of being a casting director and if you want to know more about my casting director's life please leave in the comments otherwise stay happy bye bye